Welcome to the How To Show. I'm Teresa Klein and today I'm here with my friend native artist Daryl McKay who's going to teach us how to make native hand drums. So what process do you go through when you're doing a hunt? Well uh, the first thing we do is uh, I do is uh, smudge uh, before before I leave and I smudge my rifle and then uh, when, when when we do get an animal I'll uh, put tobacco down for the, for the animal. The, the first thing I do is uh, is after I bring the animal home I'll uh, peel the hide off. If you look closely at it there's no, there's not a lot of meat on here. It's actually pretty pretty darn clean and that's what you want to get is a is a clean hide. So before Daryl gets to work on any of his projects first he goes through a smudging ceremony. This is to cleanse himself and to rid himself of any negative thoughts. So these recent hides that Daryl picked up, they're buffalo hides, he actually picked them up from a butcher. So because he picked it up from the butcher, he has to go through an extra process of cleaning the meat and the fat off of the hide. If he had hunted for it himself, it would have been a lot easier. So the next step is preparing the base of the drum. So Daryl has to cut some pieces for this. This is, uh, this is how it turns out before I sand it down and I'll glue the pieces together. So you got to cut them at an angle then so it forms a circle? Yes. And from that point I'll glue it together and then shape it. And it's very important to have a round drum. After the hide is scraped Daryl puts it into this vat of water and that helps remove the hair from it. And then, after about a week, he throws it into this bin with some juniper so it doesn't stink. So the next thing Daryl does is he puts the drum down on the hide and he just takes a little knife and scribes kind of where he wants it to be before he cuts it. And next, Daryl takes a pair of scissors and he just cuts out the area. Now he's just preparing it so that it wraps around perfectly. Next he makes holes in it and these holes are what he's going to use to attach it to the drum. Next, Daryl threads the rawhide lacing. He starts with a knot here and he threads it through the entire drum. So now Daryl is tightening the lacing so it fits snugly around the drum. Once I get to this, this stage, I, uh, make a cr uh, I make this symbol. And it's not the symbol of a Christianity cross. This is the symbol of balance and harmony. This is the medicine wheel. And it's very important to, to have that in your, in your drum. One of the cool things about these drums is that no two drums sound the same because the hides are a different thickness, different animal skins sound different. So your drum is guaranteed to be a unique one. The, the drum on the left, we just put together the drum on the right here, I put together last night, and as it dries, it'll tighten up. So how long do you usually dry them for before you're ready to paint? Three days. Here's an example of a painted drum. So how long does it take you to paint the drums? It'll, it'll vary from, from, the, uh, from the animal, the image that I put onto it. It could take as little as three hours or, or as much as 12 hours. And you also custom make the sticks as well, right? Yes, I do. I, uh, I add uh, carvings at the end of them or else I'll keep them plain and I'll uh, put leather at the, at the end here and I find this to be the strongest uh, instead of just using thread I'll, I'll wrap it with the leather itself. This is a, uh, a pipe song. Well, thank you very much, Daryl, for your help. And if anyone is interested in learning more about drums or purchasing a drum, check out his website at www.goldeneagledrums.com.